Could you use a basic $20 grow light as a light therapy device? I'm gonna find out. Okay, so right here, I have a 200 watt grow light that I purchased from AliExpress. It is very, very basic. Uh, it's a very thin panel, bit of a kickstand and a power cord, that, that's it. It's only been on for a few seconds and it's, it's putting out a bit of heat. But as you can see, there's no fans or heat sinks. And you'll notice that the light coming from this is, is a pinky. Now we're gonna use my spectrometer shortly and we're gonna see exactly what wavelengths are being emitted from this, plus how much power is coming from it. The goal here is to determine whether 20 bucks and a cheap grow light can function as a light therapy device. Now, before I do this test, let's have a look at what we actually need from a light therapy device. Okay, so when it comes to light therapy or, or red light therapy, pretty much we're looking at two things. We're looking at the power and the wavelength. Now, the wavelength is the color of light. The body, or in particular, the mitochondria, the power plants of the cell, respond really well to a select few wavelengths. If you look up cytochrome C oxidase and red light therapy, this link is perhaps one of the key reasons why red light therapy is so beneficial. Effectively, light in key wavelengths is helping the mitochondria perform better, create more energy, do the jobs a lot more efficiently. Now, the particular wavelengths that help with this function, they do range, but three key wavelengths are around 620, 660 to 670, and about 810 nanometer light. This is typically why we see a red and near infrared light combo in red light therapy panels. But it's not just about cytochrome C oxidized. Other wavelengths also have beneficial effects. For instance, 415 nanometer blue light helps with acne. Other wavelengths in the near infrared light spectrum can help with brain health and brain function, for instance. Now, as well as the wavelengths or the color, we also need to look at the total power output. If there's not enough power, even if we have the right wavelengths, we're not gonna get the real benefits. Hey, so if you're finding this video interesting, hit the like button below and don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button as well. Okay, so as you can see here, we do have quite a bit of red light, but there's also some blue light in here. First up though, let's look at the power. It's putting out around 15 to 20 milliwatts over centimeter squared at about six inches. Not too bad given the price of this panel and the fact that it doesn't have any heavy duty LEDs running. When we look at the wavelengths, we see a blue light peak it's peaking around 450 nanometers with a slight range 440 to 460. When we go over to the red light, we see quite a wide range here. It's peaking around 655, the range being about 620 to say 700. And there's also a little bit of near infrared light around the 900 nanometer range, but not much energy here. Okay, so what do these numbers mean? Well, there is gonna be a benefit in the mitochondrial cells because of that red light in the 660 to say 670 nanometer range. So that is good. Do I gonna get those mitochondrial benefits? The blue light with 450 nanometers isn't really gonna help much with say acne. It is gonna help if you are suffering from seasonal affective disorder or you just need a bit of a mental cognitive hit during the day. Uh, it will give you that stimulus, I guess. The downside though is this light is gonna impact your sleep. So you don't wanna be exposed to this light close to bed. Finally, because this blue light's in here, you need to be careful with eye health. So I'd be making sure I'm protecting my eyes or just simply using this away from my face. There is a good range of red light here. So we are gonna see some cytochrome C oxidized benefits, but we're also gonna get some other benefits of red light therapy, such as lowered inflammation rates, increased circulation, and a boost in collagen production. All the good things we're after when it comes to red light therapy. What about from a power output point of view? Well, it's not a huge amount of energy. And remember 50% of the energy is actually going to the blue. It's really the red that we're after here. If you're aiming to apply say 10 to 20 joules in a particular area for surface level benefits, then it means you're gonna need to use this grow light for about 15 to 20 minutes. So overall then, could you use an inexpensive grow light designed to help grow plants as a light therapy device? Well, yeah, you could. Would I recommend using a grow light as a red light therapy device? Not really. Yes, this is quite inexpensive, but there are other inexpensive ways to benefit from red light therapy. And I'll reveal some of those ways soon. Firstly though, I just want to talk a bit about this device. As you can see, it's rather flimsy and cheap. In fact, it arrived with all the metal brackets bent and there's a big crack through the front panel. There were also a lot of electric field EMFs coming from it. So not too great if you're wanting to use this close to your body. Of course, the size ain't great and there's no like, control panel or timer or anything like that. But the main issue is all of that blue light. There is a lot of blue light in here and that's obviously included to help stimulate plant production. However, 
most people don't need that blue light especially at that wavelength and those energy levels if somehow you could get rid of the blue and just have this in the red then yeah i mean i guess it's kind of handy but it's still not really tailored towards being a therapeutic red light therapy device now i know this is rather basic and i did say the power levels were quite low and i'm also aware that you can get much larger grow lights that have the fans that have really high powered leds if you would like me to test one of those panels they may be a couple hundred dollars but still a lot cheaper than a typical red light therapy panel please leave a comment below because such a panel is going to cost me a fair amount of money so i only want to do that if people want to see it alternatively though if you want to get a dedicated red light therapy device and you don't want to spend mega bucks check out this video it's a video where i actually buy a red light therapy panel direct from china through alibaba i cut out the middleman i take some risks and i test how good their panels really are otherwise i'll see you in the next video